Hello everyone, the moment you open this video, I bet you're shouting, help, my computer does not detect the SD card inserted into the slot. Well, you've come to the right place, as in this video, we'll take you through 6 workable ways to fix SD card not detected or showing up issue. Now, let's start. Before trying the below fixes, I suggest restarting your computer. This might do the magic when you have problems with your PC. If this doesn't work, then we should use the SD card on a different card reader or a different PC. While we always tend to blame the SD card for not working, the problem might be lying somewhere else. To determine the issue, just insert the SD card to another card reader or try it on another PC or even an Android mobile. If an SD card is write protected, it will not be displayed on other devices except the original one. Therefore, we need to remove the write protection on the SD card. To do this, simply check the lock switch beside the card and slip it to off. If there is no lock switch, you can watch this detailed video to see how to remove write protection. Hopefully, your SD card is recognized by now. But if not, check the SD card in Disk Management. If your SD card doesn't have a letter, that is a drive letter or having a conflicting letter, Windows won't detect it. But it can show up in Disk Management and we need to assign a new drive letter for the card. Now I click on the Start menu and select Disk Management. Your SD card will appear as a removable disk. Right click on it and choose change drive letter and paths from the drop down menu. If there is no drive letter for the card, choose add. But if it has gotten one, click on change and choose an unused letter from the list and confirm it. If this method still doesn't help or your SD card doesn't even show up in disk management, then things become a bit tricky. We need to deal with the driver issue. Right click on start, select device manager. Then expand the disk driver category and locate your SD card. Right click on it and choose update driver. Select search automatically for updated driver software. If there is no new driver, try to look for one on the manufacturer's website or check if there is any updated driver in Windows Update. We may also select the uninstall device option. Don't worry, Windows will reinstall the driver by itself once you restart your computer. We can also fix the SD card error by running the check this command in CMD. To open it, Press Windows plus R keys to bring up the run utility and type in CMD and hit enter. In the command window, type in CHKDSK and then space and then enter your memory card letter, which is for me it is F, then space forward slash F, hit enter. Don't worry, this code will be appearing in the screen so you can just copy it out. This will scan your card and fix the errors if any. You can also do a virus check on the SD card as well. If you have tried everything but all are invalid, the only resort is to format the SD card before buying a new one. I understand this will lead to permanent data loss but as this is the only way left, we had to do so. Locate the unrecognized SD card in the disk management, right click on it and select format. Ensure to tick quick format option and click on OK. Upset about your lost data now? Well, don't worry, there is a remedy for it as well. With a reliable and a powerful data recovery software like iMyPhone and Recover, you are surely able to recover the files from even a formatted SD card and the steps are pretty simple. First, free download the any recover software from the link in the description box and launch it. 
you can easily understand its interface even though you are a new user. Just select your SD card, an automatic and thorough scan will begin. The software is trying to dig out every piece of lost data, so it might take a while. Once the scanning process is completed, we can look for the data we need and even preview the files. Lastly, select all the files that we need and recover them. Now the lost data are back as well. Well done! That's all about today. Your support means a lot to us. So don't forget to give us a like if you really like this video. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel as well. Stay tuned for more interesting video. And until then, I'll see you next time.